That was... That... What up, peoples? Welcome to Reactions of Dead Guy. Hi. Red guy, and for today I'm gonna be reacting to Break My Heart by Dua Lipa. This is Dua Lipa's third and final single before releasing her, I was gonna say debut, her highly anticipated sophomore album, Future Nostalgia. Listen, I'm a Dua Peep fan. I like her music. I like her first album so much that I don't know, like I was waiting for this album too, and I kind of like that she changed direction in terms of her sound and style with this. I like an artist that changes things up a bit, you know? Changes their sound, changes their visual, and can we talk about her dancing? Like, it improves so much from her previous work. We're not gonna talk about that. We're gonna leave that behind. That's 2019 and below. We are 2020 and up right now. Even though there's a global pandemic happening right now, these artists, and I'm saying artists, because a lot of artists are dropping music right now as i'm talking about this future nostalgia has dropped and i think other artists are about to drop new music as well pretty soon we're gonna be listening to these songs like 50 times probably since everyone's stuck at home right now including myself all right before we get started be sure to check out the description down below all my social medias are on there too at aj red guy instagram facebook twitter all of that good stuff follow me on there if you want and if you'd like to support this channel please check out my patreon at aj red guy let's get into it without further ado here's my reaction to break my heart by dua lipa <laughs> let's watch this and as always my trusty reaction partner is here with me right now groot do you have anything else to say before we get started i am groot i am groot He's very, he's like whatever, he's not really a Dua Lipa fan. So yeah, I hope that after this, he'll be a Dua Lipa fan. We'll see. We shall see, right Groot? Okay. Alright, Dula Peep, let's go. Woo. Okay, break my heart, Dua Lipa. I like the font that she's using, by the way, for her, for this song. Okay. She looks so young here. Okay, we're starting pretty funky. Is this New York or is this just some random city? I mean, it could be some random. Oh, well. Oh, okay. Okay. I like the minimalist look. The 80s minimalist look. Is she gonna fall? I'm pretty sure she's gonna fall. It's. Oh, oh. Oh. She is falling, but oh. What am I gonna figure? Okay. I'm like anticipating something. I, what, what am I anticipating, Dua Lipa? Oh. Oh. Okay. Funky. What is this, TikTok? Her... Okay! It just, like, I feel like the production value in every music video so far, it's like, she's stepping it up. Like, her team has stepping it up. I'm into it. Is this a reference? Wait, I think these are... Are these like movie references that I don't know about? Wait. Oh. It's so clever. These transitions are so clever. This is... The transitions, man, like, as an editor myself, like, as someone who watches a lot of music videos, I love, like, how creative this is. A 
of course the 80s slash 90s inspired looks the modern transitions like the look oh okay her abs why is she doing th what she like literally flexing like why she have to flex like this Wait, is this like, was this song made for this era? She's like, I want to stay at home. Same, because like, I mean like, not same, like I kind of want to go outside, but in these times, like these times, man. Her... I see you. I see you, Miss Dula Peep. She peeking. I don't even know what that means. Like, frankly. He's he's in shock. So shocked. That was that. That was very unexpected. I did not... I was not expecting a Dua Lipa to be like this kind of hip and cool and whatever else they say back in those times that I didn't grow up in. It's outstanding. The transitions, like, from... It's so... It's so clever. I don't know about you, but I feel like she's giving us some references, again, that I don't know of, but it feels like in the very first scene, from the traffic to the streets, to the club, to like the bedroom, and then like, you know, the plane. I feel like there is something there, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. It seems like she's referencing something, but again, I could be wrong. Anyways, like, man, I don't really know what else to say, but Dua Lipa really came for this era. Like, seriously, starting from Don't Start Now, which was a smash hit, I don't know if it became number one, but it was a huge song in 2019, and I feel like, you know, early 2020s, we are in the 2020s right now, we're in the 20s, guys. Guys, this is the new 20s, like, we're gonna grow up, well, I'm gonna grow up, and I'm gonna be like, you know, like 80 years old, like later on in life, and I don't know when that is, but you know, it's just we're in the 20s. Uh, that's irrelevant from what we're talking about right now, but Dua Lipa really came for us. If the past three songs are an indication of what the album could be or what the album could sound like, I mean, it's it's a bop, it's a bop and a half. No, not really a half, it's a full bop and like two quarters or something. Is that more than a half? I need to go back to school, but yo, like the visuals just keep improving. I mean, like Don't Start Now was, you know, it was cool. It was like, you know, she's going to a club and she's like doing some, I don't know if it's psychedelic, but you know, she's, she probably took something that I'm not, not going to say anything, but you know, and then like, you know, we moved to physical, which is, you know, just rep a representation of a lot of emotions. I think like there's like different sets and different scenes. And I really appreciate the artistry in the physical music video, like so many scenes, so many colors. I love it. And then for this one, like she's playing with transitions. She's giving us different scenes. There's movement there. Every time there's a transition happening, she's falling or, you know, she's leaning or, you know, something she's doing something she's moving she, it's constantly moving for someone who has a short attention span like they're gonna like really love this i feel like she low-key created a tiktok dance she had a mini moment there on the dance floor i don't have any bad things to say but yeah i'm gonna watch the music video obviously like every time i do this like i don't know why i do i i mean i do these reactions and then when i like it or somewhat like it i'm gonna watch it like 10 more times after it's just me like i just like music videos like that and I like watching pop music videos um, most of the time and I, I, I don't, in general I just like music videos okay I forgot to ask her I talk too much I'm gonna give this music video a 5 out of 5 I really enjoyed that seriously like I really enjoyed that it's like almost 12 p.m. and I gotta wake up for work tomorrow I mean I'm gonna work from home because you know that's happening right now but still you know like it's almost 12 p.m. I gotta get some 
you know. Groot, what did you think about this music video? We want, we want to know. The audience wants to know. I am Groot. I am Groot. I am Groot. He said he was thoroughly, thoroughly, thor thoroughly pleased. I don't know how to say that word properly. Thoroughly? Thoroughly, right? Thoroughly. Thoroughly. I don't know why. I don't know who he thinks he is, but... Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like and subscribe button below and let me know in the comment section down below. Which music video is your favorite so far in this era, in this new Dua Lipa era? Also, don't forget to upload videos every week. Follow me on all my social medias, the links are down below. With everything that's been said, I hope you guys are having a nice, nice evening, whichever time zone you live in, and I'll see you guys on the next video, alright? Peace.